Today I want to look at a new tool created by Kelly Ford called DNN Prompt or Prompt for DNN. Now you may know uh, Kelly from Xmod. He's the creator of Xmod, uh, which is a very awesome tool for DNN. Well, he's back at it again. He's created another awesome tool. Uh, and so we're going to look at it. And so I've already installed Prompt into a 901 uh, version of DNN here. And uh, when you install it, it the menu is in the persona bar. Well, there's currently an issue with the icon showing up. So when I hover over the persona bar, you'll see uh, it does highlight or you know light up here for uh, a button, but there's no logo. So you can just imagine there being a logo there. So when I click uh, the the command prompt or the prompt uh, icon, you'll notice that uh, we get a simple command that says uh, help. Now. When we look at this, this is very uh, similar to a command line, uh, which, you know, we're seeing a lot of trends in web development going back towards or back to, uh, you know, command line prompts. And so that's exactly, uh, you know, the name for it, prompt. And so, uh, in my opinion, prompt is going to turn admins uh, into power admins uh, very quickly and very easily. And you'll see that here uh, in the next few seconds. So what I'm going to do is just type in help. And you'll see we get a list uh, of commands here. So uh, Kelly uh, has done an awesome job of building out the help for this specific tool. So you really don't even have to watch this video to understand uh, how to do this um, or how to use this tool. You'll notice we have various uh, sections for commands, like we've got general commands, uh, we've got page commands, user commands, module commands, host, portal, role, and scheduler commands. So we're just going to take a look at a couple of these uh, just to give you an idea. Now you'll notice that we have two columns. You've got the command and you've got a, a brief description. So as I mentioned, Kelly did a really jam up job here uh, on the help within this um, tool. So for example, we see this command CLS. Well, you'll see that when we hover over it, it turns into, uh, you know, the, the finger so we can click this or whatever. Um, when you click on a command, you'll, you'll see we got bumped down to the bottom and it typed in what we need to see, which is help CLS. I'll just click enter and now I get more information uh, about this command. So it looks like this CLS command clears the prompt console and it is also a shortcut for this clear screen. So I'm just going to type in CLS and boom, there it is. It cleared out the console for me. So we'll go right back into help and we'll just look at some of these uh, commands here. So for the page level commands, um, you'll notice that we can create pages, we can set pages or, you know, make updates, delete, restore, purge several commands. So um, one thing that's pretty neat is that when you create new pages, so I'll just click on that. And again, we'll go to the help here uh, and I'll click enter. When we create new pages, we can pass in uh, parameters that allow us to, you know, set even more fields. So for example, we could set the name, the title, the URL, uh, keywords, things like that, whether or not we want it visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new page. So we'll just go new dash page. So that's the command for a new page. And then we'll pass in the name. So we'll call this uh, test. And we'll call it testy because I think I may have already created a test. So we'll, we'll go testy. And uh, really that's all we have to do. Again, we could pass in these other parameters or variables if we wanted to. So I'll just click enter. So now we've got a uh, some information about the page testy has been created. So I'm just going to refresh and you'll notice that indeed we do have a testy page that has been uh, created. So I'll go list pages. Now we can see, you can see my previous test and you can see the new testy here. So that's with the ID of 40. So we could easily say, um, or type in here, we could say go to 40. <clears throat> and now it takes us uh, to the testy page, right? So again, we could list pages. <clears throat> we could see that the home page is page 20. We'll go to 20 and now we're back on the home page. Let's say if we want to delete the testy page. Uh, I already forgot what the, uh, see, it's even got good error feedback here. So list pages. The testy was 40. So we'll say uh, delete 
page 40 and see you can see um, where it says it successfully deleted the page so what I'll do is I'll just click on home you can see that test it was deleted and if we go into the recycle bin you can see where test and testy are both present so uh, it's really easy to you know I guess carry out administrative uh, task here within the solution uh, so let's go back into the help so along with the the page commands you could do things like uh, with the users you could create new users you can even create roles so um, obviously you can look at these at your leisure um, you know the module commands host commands clearing cache you know uh, also a new extension is pretty neat um, and we'll just you know click enter on the help there and you can see where this will install a new extension from a manifest or a zip file so you can imagine it'll save you a little bit of time uh, when you're able to do that. One thing I'll also mention is that uh, when the prompt is blinking here, if you just click up, it does keep a history of your commands. So you don't have to type them out every time if you don't want to. You could easily uh, toggle uh, back to those. So uh, let's go back to the help. Again, you know, portal commands, roll commands, schedule commands. So um, you know, it doesn't take long to see the power that's in this tool, especially for uh, administrators uh, and how much time this will be able to save you right here uh, just from the command prompt. And so, uh, you know, I'm really excited about this tool. It's in its early stages. Uh, there's, there's really no telling what else uh, Kelly uh, and the team around this will be able to, to kind of build here into the solution. Uh, I'll also mention that... Uh, it is uh, posted on GitHub here, and uh, you'll notice that I have <laughs> submitted a lot of requests. I know that Kelly would, uh, you know, really appreciate feedback, uh, pull requests, just people getting uh, involved here uh, within the solution. So, anyways, hope you uh, enjoyed the the first looks here at Prompt, and I'm uh, really excited to see where this is going to go in the future.